how much longer is there going to be a supply of inflationary fields of ignorance within physics and astronomy, which will give your great-great-grandchildren the potential for careers in astrophysics? Mm. Yes. If I can start that one off, um, I mean, it, basically, there's dark energy and dark matter. There are things we don't understand. There are dark photons about which I know even less, and uh, as we could carry on. But uh, I, I have found uh, throughout my career that uh, continually we're finding new things, new things to puzzle about, and uh, new fundamental things. We can ask questions uh, that, and start to give answers to things that we couldn't think of uh, decades ago. I am very optimistic that uh, we haven't come to the end, that we, you know, the physics books that we've got today uh, will be looked on in 100 years' time or 200 years' time as being, gosh, did they really believe that kind of thing? And um, I, I remind you that, you know, late Victorian times, people really believed in the ether, and uh, then it was discovered that it doesn't exist. And it, we are likely to have other theories keep rolling on. So um, I, I think it's mainly that I, I see many things around that uh, are really intriguing. Uh, we're looking, uh, we've got more and more uh, telescopes and more things we can observe. And uh, there's just so much more to look at. I'd like to hear from all the panelists on this. Let me add a layer, though, is about the possibility that uh, some of the questions are too hard to answer. Is there some anthropocentric hubris that we enjoy at this time to imagine that we can answer all these big questions still on the table? Good point. Yeah, well, I would just like to remind everyone of that uh, quote for which he was ridiculed. I believe it was Donald Rumsfeld who... Dis sorry, yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> My turn to go first, yeah. <laughs> Just that quote where he mentions about the unknown unknowns, and he was ridiculed for this, whereas I would say I and so many other scientists rely and uh, positively look forward to discovering those unknown unknowns. If they weren't there, we'd give up now. Okay, it's really exciting to think there's so much left to be discovered, so much left to understand, and that it's that that drives so many scientists, whether they're going to be my great, great, however many grandchildren, um, I really think it's exciting, and we absolutely need that sense of unknown. Absolutely. Um, the big new thing in radio astronomy is going to be the Square Kilometre Array, which based the headquarters, in fact, at Jodrell Bank. But the point is, there are a number of things that it's aimed to do. You know, we can look at pulsars, all these various things. But one of them is to discover things that we have no idea exists. And almost every major new instrument that's ever been built in the world, that's perhaps had a factor of 10 advancement in its capabilities, has actually discovered things that were not known about before it was built. Let us just hope that continues to happen in the future. There will be lots for our research students and their research students and so on in the future. <laughs>